September 17, 1862, stands still today as the single bloodiest day in all of American history. Nearly twice as many Americans died in a single day at Sharpsburg, Maryland, as had fallen in the American Revolution, the War of 1812, the Mexican War, and the Spanish-American War combined. By comparison, American losses on the bloodiest day of World War II, D-Day, were a quarter of those at Antietam. This was a period uh, in which many officers in the Union Army were saying that the rebels had won the war, they had proved their, uh, their worthiness of independence, that their own men had not fought well, uh, and that they might as well confess that they had lost the war. The Lincoln administration now, for the very first time the war, is desperate. It must have a victory. The enemy has now invaded the North. We cannot fail. There cannot be another loss. Among the men, about one in four of the Union soldiers here are green, have not been in combat. Many of them are only a few weeks from home. Many of them are loading their weapons for the first time as they're going into battle. For Lincoln, the victory at Antietam was more than just an item on a political schedule. It had become a matter of almost religious commitment for him to link Antietam with the Emancipation Proclamation.